I've come up with a new technique that enables one to play uh, an octave below the normal drone note on an average sized didgeridoo. So you can play a, di uh, a note normally requiring a 12 foot didge to play on something like a 6 or 5 foot didgeridoo. Um, this technique is all about lip control and I spent about all of 2008 redesigning the way I make didgeridoos because it was so difficult to play this thing I had discovered on um, all the normal digits I had. So these newer digits are um, generally much larger in mouthpiece size than the average dig, or slightly or much larger, and uh, oblong in shape with a concave face. I found that it's much easier to play out of the front of the mouth than out of the side of the mouth because you have a softer palate in the front to hit these low frequencies. So it's, um, I used to play out of the side and have switched to the front, and I feel this concave shape will help people switch as well as just help people play in general because it's a much better seal. Because when you play a really large mouthpiece that's flat and you put it against your face, you have to push really hard to get the edges of the mouthpiece to touch because your mouth is round. So this creates a really nice tight seal around your face so that you don't have to push and damage your teeth or anything like that. Um, so again, it's all lip control. So the normal drone be something like and the low drone it's not a softer drone, it's still really hard, punchy, but it's, it, it's a looser, flappier vibration. So, not, but, so. That's the basic of the te the basics of the technique, and um, and if you're really looking for something to push you to a whole new world of didgeridoo, then these digits will definitely help you um, do it a lot easier than most. Um, yeah. <laughs>